Good morning, YouTubers. Thanks for coming back. Matt Hun with MDH Technologies. I'm excited you're here. I appreciate your time. Today I'm going to talk to you about refurbished hardware. Is it good? Is it bad? When should you use it? When should you avoid it? What to look for? Those sorts of things. So um, we're just going to have a quick discussion. Refurbished hardware. Let's jump into it. Uh, once again, I appreciate your time and hope you find our videos useful. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about refurbished hardware is, okay, there's no warranty, right? So that just means that you need to be very selective uh, if you decide to go with refurbished hardware, okay? Because there's either no warranty or a very, very limited warranty, like 30 days, 90, 60 days, something like this. Uh, in very rare circumstances, if the refurbished hardware you're getting is still very new, like maybe in under a year, you may still get uh, a, a one-year factory warranty. That's, that's pretty rare though, and that's more on what they would call an open box situation as opposed to a refurbished type situation. So uh, there is a difference there. Now, refurbished hardware is not usually best for mission-critical hardware. Um, there are some exceptions to that and there are some ways that you can sort of engineer uh, around that. Uh, refurbished hardware is cheaper, right? So um, there's a real temptation there to use refurbished. Uh, and, and the fact of the matter is there are a lot of very large enterprises that will lease very expensive, very powerful hardware uh, for a year or two or three. And then so once that uh, time has passed, they'll turn in the hardware, get a refresh. But the fact is that there's still a lot of life left in that enterprise class hardware. And there's probably a lot of horsepower um, and, and very well suited for the medium and small business type organizations. Uh, so when, when you're talking about putting a piece of hardware, a, a refurbished piece of hardware into a mission critical role, uh, what you really, um, what you really might want to consider is buying two pieces instead of one, uh, and creating a high availability type situation there. Uh, and, and a lot of times, believe it or not, you can do that uh, and still come in just a little over budget, or or even sometimes under budget, uh, because refurbished hardware is at such a discount. Now there's something also that, that's great about buying refurbished hardware because all of those electronics end up in the landfills uh, and, and, and things. So uh, in, in terms of the environmental impact, it is absolutely a great thing to use refurbished hardware or to use computer hardware as long as you possibly can. It is absolutely great. Um, so from an environmental perspective. Um, now. The hardware should be, if you're going to go with refurbished, should be selected by an IT professional so that um, that individual can sort of vet that hardware, okay? Because there are certain things you need to know about it, right? What model is it? What brand is it? Uh, you need to know um, if there were a lot of those particular uh, models and units made. Um, if there weren't, then it can be very difficult to get replacement parts if something fails. Um, you can you can actually go and look at the history uh, of that item uh, and see if there were a lot of complaints about it um, and, and uh, so you do have the added benefit of some historical data uh, for refurbished hardware versus new where there's no, there's no historical data about the performance or reliability of those products um, so that that's going to work in your favor um, but once again those those decisions really should be made by an IT professional uh, with some hardware knowledge now, the one thing that goes bad um, usually first on refurbished hardware are, is anything with a moving part, right? So the older style hard drives, okay, like the, the SATA or the SAS drives and this sort of thing. So yes, enterprise class hard drives do last longer and are more reliable and perform better. But just like anything else with moving parts, they go bad. Uh, so if you want to decrease the likelihood that you'll have some kind of hardware failure when going refurbished, I usually recommend that you get new drives instead of getting the refurbished drives. So, okay, you get a refurbished server, refurbished desktop or what have you, um, but putting in a new drive or upgrading that, uh, that drive uh, very soon is, is usually a good idea. 
Uh, once again, risk is a little bit less when you're talking about uh, more sophisticated raid type setups, like maybe going raid 10 or better. Uh, you've got uh, a couple of, of drives there uh, that allow you to be, to, to be redundant. In other words, you can lose a couple of drives and still operate, um, as opposed to some of the the lesser raid levels where you can't afford so many uh, losses in the in the, the raid array before you, you really run into a problem. So, uh, anyway, keeping that in mind. Um, those are all things that you should factor in when looking at uh, refurbished hardware. <clears throat> so uh, we talked about purchasing two instead of one new. Uh, that's, that's definitely an option. Uh, knowing what brands and models are good, uh, and that, that requires hardware knowledge. Um, so the, the next thing to find out in terms of what you're looking for is, is the hardware, is it refurbished? Is it, is it certified refurbished? Or is it like seller refurbished? In other words, is it just some random person on eBay or whatever selling used equipment saying it's refurbished? Well, there's things that – there's a process that has to happen in order for uh, the hardware to be certified refurbished, which is really what you want um, because that guarantees that somebody's uh, probably cleaned the machine a little bit. Uh, that they've looked at the components visually at least to inspect. They've probably booted the machine to make sure that it boots properly and at least gets in uh, a boots BIOS at least, maybe not an operating system, but quite possibly that as well. Um, and then they've, they've inspected and they've run some diagnostics on various components there, um, including power supply and, and these sorts of things. So um, definitely you want to find out is it certified refurbished or is it a seller refurbished uh, or is it not really refurbished at all, it's just used. <laughs> um, so don't, don't be misled by the word refurbished. Now um, refurbished hardware typically gets a grade, A, B, or C. Um, a uh, is, is the best, uh, B being the second and C being um, sort of uh, at, at the bottom of the list there, um, but quite possibly still serviceable. Um, whenever looking for refurbished hardware, you do really would want to try to get something on the better end on the A and B. Um, there's really typically not that much price difference between A, B, and C, not usually. Uh, the more sophisticated equipment, more uh, um, expensive equipment, that you'll notice um, larger gaps in the price, but that's just because of the, um, the, the, the general price. And because typically those larger pieces are, are enterprise class or mission critical type pieces, so uh, there's, there's more costs associated with those as well. So, um, so what grade is it? Certified refurbished for, versus seller refurbished? Um, Somebody like an IT professional with hardware knowledge really mean, needs to be making these decisions. Um, and uh, best case is to replace the drives um, when, uh, when getting uh, refurbished stuff. And just as a side note, there are some pieces of equipment that you really want to avoid uh, when getting refurbished. And primarily those are things with batteries, right? Like laptops, right? So um, I, I've experimented with getting refurbished laptops. and. Um, if, if it's something you're just going to use as a loaner or a spare, it's probably okay. You can limp by on it. But a lot of times the batteries in these refurbished laptops um, arrive and they just don't have a lot of life left in them, sometimes none at all. And the cost of uh, a laptop battery could really put you over the top. So we're starting to see more laptops with the batteries built in. It's going to be interesting to see how refurbishers uh, take, uh, take those kinds of equipment on, uh, whether they'll just give you something that, that, that um, has a bad battery in it or if they're going to actually uh, go to the expense of replacing those. But currently, um, the, uh, the much uh, cheaper batteries uh, on the, the older generation equipment uh, are mostly not replaced. We found a few refurbishers that occasionally do, but it's 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 kind of a crapshoot. So I'm saying, uh, really, just stay away from anything with a battery. Now, even RAID controllers can have batteries in them, uh, but those are usually very inexpensive batteries. Uh, a lot of times, they're just like a little watch battery or just a little battery pack that that may be uh, 10, 10, uh, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, so we're not talking about a, a hundred or two hundred or, or two hundred and fifty or three hundred dollar la a laptop battery whatever the case. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Um, I have hope that uh, my discussion about uh, refurbished hardware 
uh, has been useful to you and that if it has I hope that you would subscribe to my channel that you would like the video and that you would share with your colleagues uh, once again my name is Matt Hunt with MDH Technologies thank you for joining me I greatly appreciate your time we manage your technology so you can manage your business easily. For the computer support that you need, choose MDH Technologies. We'll monitor, maintain.